Hey there, I'm Elliot. I've got something exciting for you, especially if you've been struggling with that annoying iPhone lock to owner message, more formally known as the iCloud activation lock. I know it can be a real pain when you're eager to use your device, but this lock stands in your way. You might have encountered multiple services, software, or methods promising to help you with this issue, but today we will talk about a safer, more reliable, quicker, entirely free solution. And I promise you it works like a charm every time for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. So, buckle up because I'm about to unravel the easiest ways to bypass the iCloud activation lock. This guide is only for folks who own their devices and have forgotten their login details. We're not here to help anyone do anything illegal, like unlocking stolen devices. Let's respect each other's rights and follow the law, alright? Also, rest assured, our video follows YouTube's rules and community standards. Let's get right to it now that we've cleared that up. You've undoubtedly encountered many services out there, claiming to be the best solution for bypassing the iCloud activation lock. But let's be honest, not all of them deliver on their promises. You might have heard of Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and the iUnlock app. From my experience, these are some of the top solutions to remove that annoying iPhone lock to owner obstacle. Now let me share a little backstory. I was in the same boat as you a while back, stuck with a device I couldn't use. I tried various methods, but nothing worked until I stumbled upon these services. Let me assure you I'm here to share my experience. These great reliable solutions could save you a lot of time and stress, but what sets them apart? Well, that's where things start to get interesting. Each of these services is unique, offering tools to deal with the iCloud activation lock effectively. Primarily, Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant stands out for its powerful and intelligent features, making it a breeze to unlock your device. But we'll get into more details on that in a bit. So, stay tuned. Please be aware that our unlock services are primarily available in first world countries. If you reside in a country where access to unlocking services is restricted or choose not to utilize them, we have an alternative for you. Our platform generously offers 250 unlocks weekly for users who engage with our content. To be eligible for this offer, you need to follow these easy steps. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. In your comment, please include the make and model of your phone, for instance, Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and the country you are based in. Once you have completed these steps, you are automatically entered into the role for our weekly unlock giveaway. Please remember that we value your privacy and the information you provide is only used for unlocking. So let's get started. All right, to get things started, launch your browser, which could be on your phone or computer. Type in unlockhere.com in the search bar. This site is a handy web app with an AI assistant, affectionately named Nifty, who'll help us with the unlocking process. Once you're on the site, give Nifty a little hello by clicking on activation lock. This lets Nifty know we're looking to deal with an iCloud unlock today. Next, select your device. We will use an iPhone for this example, but the same steps apply if you're using an iPad or an Apple Watch. The following step is crucial. You need to enter the IMEI or serial number of your device. Now, what's the difference? All iPhones have IMEIs, so go for the IMEI if you're unlocking an iPhone. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. If not, no worries. They'll have a serial number that you can use instead. To find this information, press the sleep button on your locked device, press it once again, and tap on the eye on the bottom right. This will display your device info. Remember, you'll need to input this device information in the next step. You'll be asked to input some basic info as we move on. Make sure to include genuine details, as this will be attached to your order. They'll send a confirmation code to your email. Before you hit start process, double check that you've agreed to the terms, confirm that you're not attempting to unlock a stolen device, and pass the quick capture test to prove you're not a robot. After this, it's time to check your email. You're looking for an email with a confirmation code. Sometimes it may land in your spam or junk folder, so check there too. Take that confirmation code, head back to unlock here, and input the code. Pass the capture one more time, and voila! Your unlock process has started, and your device will soon be unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. 
And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Hang tight. Another unlocking method is coming up for those who want more options. All right, folks, let's explore some more alternative ways to remove that iCloud activation lock. You know that thing that pops up when you're trying to set up your iPhone but asks for someone else's Apple ID and password? Yeah, it's a bummer for sure. But don't worry, there are a few perfectly legal ways to bypass this. Method one, reach out to the previous owner. One of the simplest ways is to contact the previous owner of the device. If the iPhone was handed down to you, they should be able to remove the lock by deleting the device from their iCloud account. Method two, use Apple support. If contacting the original owner isn't an option, try heading to Apple support. If you provide them with proof of purchase, they may be able to unlock the device for you. Just remember, you'll need that receipt. Method three, use a paid unlocking service. Plenty of third-party companies specialize in unlocking iCloud activation locks. They operate within the confines of the law, but remember, always do your research and read reviews to avoid dodgy services. Now remember folks, we're not advocating breaking any laws or doing anything sketchy. These methods are all legit and they're the right way to remove that activation lock. As always, remember to stay safe, research, and only follow the right methods. Do you have extra tips or thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. I'm always looking for your comments. Happy unlocking folks.